Okay, I haven't had a chance to do a gardening kind of update for you guys in quite some time. Uh, but these are the babies. And now, that is Meep, bigger than Lily. They're all a little crazy. And tomorrow, they're going to be going in with the big boys and girls, which you can see Hector through there. He is the Hector. But there's Red and Susie. And this one is Chicklet. Look how big Chicklet got. But she's still a lot smaller than some of the others. All right. So it has been bucketing down rain the last few days. Excuse me while I walk over here. Bucketing down rain. So everything is a bit damp. But the corn is almost ready. We've got a lot of harvesting and weeding to do. There's a ton of peppers. Just these last few days have brought things on like crazy. Beautiful zinnias. This is a melon. And there is one melon that's really coming along there. Look at these beautiful flowers that popped out. This is where I picked flowers for the altar. So we have a line of sunflowers growing along the chicken coop. Tons of tomatoes, more flowers. This is the squash bed that we keep having to do beetle patrol. There's tons of squash beetles, so you have to kind of move the leaves every day until you find something like this. And then you take that off because that's squash beetle eggs that turn into yucky squash beetles. <sighs> we have eggplants, more zinnias. You can see there's a ton of eggplant that needs to be harvested there. And the cucumbers came out because squash beetles killed them and peas went in. And we will get a harvest of peas before the frost. Same thing kind of happened over here where the cucumbers got done in. So um, peas have been planted there. The slugs have been eating beans. It's just, there's one of the basil. I have five big basil like this again. And oh, these are the squash and melons from Jess. And there's some coming along in there. <laughs> This is where the greenhouse polytunnel is going to go. And those two beds are going to go in there. These are the runner beans. And I can see you have to come and harvest those again. The Roma tomatoes um, went blight this last rain really badly. So they're probably going to be harvested and they're going to come out all together. And there's some peppers in the front of there. <sighs> this is what's out of control that I need help with. <laughs> well, that's, that's borage, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if you can get an idea how big that is. Um, I put my hand there so you can see. That's a, it's about three feet tall. So we have horseradish and all sorts of herbs. There's a mullein uh, and a rowan tree. But all sorts of herbs back there. There's parsley and chamomile and valerian and all kinds of stuff there. The sun gold tomatoes have gone nuts. Um, just there's more of the sunflowers. So that's this side of the garden. We do our own composting and then over here on this other side huh, <laughs> we have one apple left that the varmints haven't stolen. They took all of our peaches. So there's one Macintosh apple. Yes, Hector. And then these grow bags. Wow. There's onions and tomatoes and peppers. And at the very end, there's beans. And then in that mass of jewelweed, there is a gooseberry. Yes, I know you're the Hector. And then these are going to be made into little hedges. This is hazel, and you can see 
It's almost the hazel time of year. Perhaps today is the hazel lunation. And we have a ton of elder. So this is gonna be like a little wisdom grove here. Look at these. I can't believe how many of them bloomed these last couple of days. Holy, holy Hector. <laughs> um, but yep, the elderberries I think are getting eaten by birds. And then all along the back are blueberries and raspberries. I got a second cropping of sun golds here where potatoes came out. So where the potatoes came out, I planted more sun golds and some more squash because I still haven't gotten any zucchinis. So I'm hoping that I have enough growing season left, about 70 days, um, to get some squash. And I also planted uh, a little more, uh, a few more cucumbers. So we'll see if we can, you know, we'll get a uh, tomato steak things on there. There's some sage. So some things were a great success and some things were a huge failure. Uh, the Swiss chard got eaten. The lettuce got eaten. The um, spinach got eaten. But you know, you just plant something that you think maybe they won't eat. And you have to go on bug patrol and slug patrol. And this is celery. You can see a couple of them are okay and then the rest got eaten. The other half of this bed was parsley, gone. These are leeks, I have 36 leeks, that's gonna be great. This was the garlic bed, so it needs to be amended, but I had way too many extra tomatoes that self-seeded, so I just uh, stuck them over here and we'll see what happens. More peppers hanging out of there, oh my God, there must be a hundred peppers to harvest. All these tomatoes have gone blight, that's terrible. Um, here's another giant borage that's kind of protecting some carrots. And there's more onions in there, I don't know if you can see. Marigolds. I mean, this is a pretty big garden. There's, um, there's a Hector. There's, um, 15, uh, four by eight raised beds. And Anton has built trellises so we can trellis things up. There's a small dwarf um, plum tree and a pear tree and like I said the peaches got decimated there over there by the herbs the sunflowers did really really well this year the zinnias have just <coughs> gone crazy I'm looking forward to uh, some really nice homegrown corn also finished uh, the outside of T. Nalva so our little sanctuary house and this week, some guys that help us out, handymen are gonna come and give us an idea for fixing all the divider walls and getting ready to do electrics and plumbing. So all in all, we're pretty excited. Uh, there's the frame for the polytunnel that's gonna go way over there by the shed. And that's us. Oh, there's another little honey crisp. So, nothing going on here. Oh, I forgot to tell you too. When we harvested potatoes over here, we seeded <coughs> more squash and some radishes, and I will uh, weed the radishes out, thin them down, and the chickens will get a great little salad so that the others can grow. So that's us. A little update from Celtica's garden. Take care. Blessed be.